Hi, Scott Miller, CBSSports.com National Baseball Columnist. Here in Boston with Fenway Park behind me, we're getting ready to rock and roll in the American League Championship Series, the Red Sox against the Cleveland Indians. Now, you might have gotten tired of hearing about the curse of the Bambino, which, of course, the Red Sox smashed when they won the 2004 World Series. When did you ever think we'd get to a postseason series in which it was the other guys who have gone years and years and years without winning? Well, here we are. Cleveland hasn't won a World Series since 1948, which makes the Red Sox drought. Uh, well, the Red Sox 86-year drought was longer, but um, Cleveland has a long one going right now, and it's the Red Sox that just won a few years ago. What's going to happen now? Well, uh, both teams are mirror images of each other. Great starting pitching, good bullpens, solid lineups. Cleveland in, in uh, starters CeCe Sabathia and Fausto Carmona, they have the pitching equivalent of the one-two punch in the middle of Boston's lineup, David Ortiz and Manny Ramirez. Ortiz and Ramirez have scared everybody for years. Well, Sabathia and Carmona, same thing. When they're on, especially in a seven-game series, Cleveland's going to be really difficult to beat. Uh, Cleveland can score. Grady Sizemore and Travis Hafner are coming along. Uh, by the end of this series, they just may be uh, household names. Okay, so what, how's it going to go? Three keys to the series. Number one, Sabathia and Carmona. For Cleveland, they've got to be on. If they're on their A game, uh, they got the righty-lefty combo going, the lefty Carmona. Uh, if they're on their A game, Cleveland is going to be really difficult to beat. Number two, the one-two punch in Boston. Ortiz and, and uh, Ramirez have to be going and so does Josh Beckett. When we last saw him in the postseason, October 2003, he was pitching those Marlins past the New York Yankees. Beckett, is history is really good in the postseason, and if he can step up, that's going to be what Boston needs. Third key is the bullpens. Uh, Boston, of course, their lineup is really patient. They make Cleveland hitters, I mean, they're going to make the Cleveland pitchers throw a lot of pitches. If they, Their goal is going to be to get Sabathia and Carmona out of the game by the fifth or sixth inning. If they can, that's where the bullpen's going to take over. The two Raphaels for Cleveland, set up men Betancourt and Perez, have to be good. And also their closer, Joe Borowski, he's wobbly, the highest ERA of, in baseball history for a saves leader. But he's gotten the job done, obviously, leads the league in, the, in saves. Um, it's going to be interesting. It's going to be fascinating. I'm going to say Cleveland in seven games. you got to go with pitching in the postseason. For CBSSports.com, Scott Miller.